It would take a remarkable turn in results for Huddersfield to secure automatic promotion. But even if that doesn't happen, form is needed for the playoffs in around a month's time. And at the moment, the Terriers are on a bad run, having lost three and four. Opponents Preston are still in the playoff chase, but one win in their last four has made it an almost impossible job for Simon Grayson and Co. Simon Grayson returning to one of his former clubs today, managed Huddersfield 49 times between February 2012 and January 2013. Leading them to promotion from League One at the end of 2012. And it's Huddersfield who come forward here. Comes over far side, drilled across, it was deflected. And the goalkeeper Maxwell got something on it. A lively start here at John Smith Stadium. It's a nice give and go. Chasing it here is Van La Parra. The Dutchman's in behind. It's Van La Parra across. Moy knocks it down. Danger not over yet. McGeady coming back there. Moy getting a foot in. Fully committed stuff from both sides. Huddersfield again. It's back for Van La Parra. He's pulled down the side. And again, Preston defend well. Moy drilling one, but it's always going to be hard from there. It's well wide off the Australian for a goal kick. Huddersfield very much in the front foot here at the moment. spread of play. There was a touch on it there by Johnson, but he couldn't do much with it. Huddersfield keep the pressure on. Van La Parra curling one into the arms of Maxwell. Still goalless here at the moment in Yorkshire. Huddersfield in third, hosting Preston in ninth in one of the games of the day in the championship. Easter weekend, always pivotal at this time of year. Here's McGeady. Good feet. It's McGeady! Stunning goal! Aidan McGeady for Preston North End. He won't score too many better than that one this season. That's number eight. And it was all his own work. Good feet to create the space, and when no one closed him down, he thought, why not? Huddersfield nil, Preston North End one. And Terry is looking to hit back here. Nice one touch stuff. Cross there, deflected, and Maxwell can't keep it in. Ball of the Huddersfield to be taken by Moy. Moy crosses, the goalkeeper came, he didn't get there, and one man who certainly did is Kachunga. Elias Kachunga with the equaliser for Huddersfield, just a couple of minutes before half-time. Great technique on that ball in. Kachunga in the right place at the right time. To put the teams back on level terms again. said earlier on, the automatic place is looking just about beyond Huddersfield. We take a remarkable run in terms of defeats for the top two and wins for David Wagner's side. Anything is possible. At the moment they're drawing 1-1, it's going to stay like that for now because that effort is into the side netting from Kachunga. Looking for his second of the game. Huddersfield looking confident in possession. Clearly drilled into them by Wagner on the training ground. Moy tucks it inside. Kachunga. His ball square. To the path there. Oh, the flag did go up in the end. It took a while, though. Up against Nicky Wells. The atmosphere continues here. Fans right behind the players, they've got a great bond. 
celebrate with each other at the end of every win. Here's Moy. Preston on the back foot at the moment. Still Moy. Still a bad ball over. Drill the cross deflected, and it's in. Jack Payne, with just under 20 minutes to go, has turned this game around. His second goal in the league this season, and it could be a pivotal one. Great determination to get himself on the end of that. The ball across was an awkward one. Could have just volleyed it in, but went for the spectacular instead, and it paid off. Huddersfield 2, Preston 1. Much encouragement from Wagner and Co. Been in patchy form recently, Huddersfield. Losses heavily away to Bristol City, and then a defeat here in the last minute against Burton. And then won 3 0 here against Norwich before losing at Forest last time out by two goals to nil. They still have that game in hand to come as well later this month against Wolves. Tackle coming in there. Play goes on for now. Johnson. In comes the cross. Header in, it's 2 2. Hugo with just over 10 minutes to go. And Preston North End's joint top scorer puts himself outright at the top of the rankings now with 11. And it may well be a share of the points for he and his side here in Yorkshire. Johnson did well under pressure. And when the cross came in, it was a terrific header beyond Ward. Hugo's goal, 2-2. Well, plenty of time in this game. Cunningham. And Cunningham wins the throw in a dangerous area. It's not like to be a long one from the left. Plenty of bodies in the middle. Put it on into a dangerous area. Huddersfield needs to clear their lines here. Stood back up into the middle. And it's over the top. It was a delightful ball put in by Horgan. But it couldn't be converted. Moy. Van La Parra. As Van La Parra clips a high one in. Not near enough to any of his teammates though, lurking in the middle was quite a Moy. Sends it in. Header away as far as Van La Parra. The winger has support. Huddersfield will have to start again. But something's happened here off the ball. A collision between two of the players there. The Preston defender back there was Hugo. And it's Kachunga who's down on the deck. And what's the referee going to do here? It's a yellow card shown. By referee Lee Provert. And the penalty has been given. Deep into added time, Huddersfield Town have a penalty. Lee Probert took a while there to give that decision. After consultation with the assistant, it's a penalty to Huddersfield in the 96th minute. It's Moy! Oh, he's been saved by Maxwell! But Quanner on the rebound has done it! Bedlam at the John Smith Stadium, a pitch invasion as well. Huddersfield Town have grabbed themselves a winner deep into added time. The penalty was well saved, but Quanner on the rebound wasn't going to miss that. It's heartbreak for Preston. It's delight for Huddersfield. Look at the passion on everyone's faces. They know that's three points in the back, and Quanner is the hero. And listen to that noise now. Something special happening here at the John Smiths. And that is another massive three points for David Wagner. Simon Grayson 
will be desperately disappointed to lose it so late on in the manner they did as well. A late, late penalty given by Lee Probert, missed by Moy, but finished off on the rebound by Colin Quanner, has given Huddersfield Town maximum points here at the John Smith Stadium. They celebrate with their fans again. The full-time score here, Huddersfield Town 3, Preston North End 2.